So let's start by drawing a picture of what we're trying to work out, which is basically three layers of insulation. And in the middle one, we've got a couple of bits of wood. So let's just start off by looking at the U values for each part. And we've basically got, this is 100 millimetres. That's 100 millimetres as well. And we've got wood. Let's call that U, W for wood. And we've got glass wool, and let's call that U, G, W for glass wool. So the U value for wood is going to be 0 0.16 is a thermal conductivity and we divide that by 0.1 because it's a hundred millimeters thick which is 1.6 watts per meter squared Kelvin. Uh, glass wool on the other hand is 0 0.04 divided by 0.1, which is 0 0.4, again, watts per square metre Kelvin. So next we want to look at these three layers. We can kind of ignore, let's just ignore everything above there and everything below there and just look at this section. And let's call this one, that's the low one, and that's layer two, and that's layer three. So we're trying to find out what is U1 and what is U2. And U3 is the same material and the same thickness as U1. So these are going to be the same. And they're just glass wool. So they're also going to be the same as UGW. Um, U2 is 100 millimeters of this part of wood and 900 millimeters of glass wool. So we work that out by U W times one over 10 plus U G W times nine over 10, which is U W is 1.6 times 1 over 10 plus 0 0.4 times 9 over 10, which is, um, let's use a, uh, let's use a calculator to just work this out. I know you can probably do this in your head and um, it's not a bad idea doing things in your head if it's easy. Um, often the numbers that we use are not easy and doing things in your head, you'll probably get the wrong answer. And it will probably take longer. So it's 0 0.16 plus 0.4 times 9 divided by 10, um, which is 0 0.52. So we've got the two parts. Um, you 1 is the same as GWG is 0.4. So U1 is 0.4. And U2 is 0.52. So next we want to look at these three layers in series. And when we put three layers in series, we need to work out 1 over U is 1 over u1 plus 1 over u2 plus 1 over u3. Now remember u1 and u2 are the same, so that's 2 over u1 plus 1 over u2 and u1 was, what was u1? Where's it gone? u1 is um, 0.4 U2 is 0 0.52. U.4 plus 1 over 0 0.52. And again, here, I think we definitely want to use a calculator here. 
um, so we can get um, 2 over 0.4, we've got 0.12 here, so we can just do 1 over 0.52 plus 2 divided by 0.4, so that's 6. 0.92 and we need to get 1 over that, that was 1 over u so u is going to be 1 over that which will be, again we can use this little 1 over x number here and we get 0.1444. So u is 0 0.144. Three significant figures is probably enough. And there we have the answer if we try and work it out in series.